Now, are you always tired noticing cold hands and feet, varicose veins, or maybe you're just worried about your heart health? Well, these may be signs that you may have impaired blood flow or circulation. Now, truth be told, I'm a pharmacist, but I do acknowledge that there are some wonderful natural supplements that can be game changers for your heart health and blood vessels. So today I want to share 10 supplements that are good for circulation and improved blood flow. Now, since this review is just for informational purposes, I highly recommend that if you're experiencing any of these things that I mentioned, it is best advice to you know, talk to your doctor first. With that said, the first supplement on my list is omega-3 fatty acids. Now, omega-3 fatty acids are essential fatty acids, but unfortunately, they cannot be produced by the body. They can be obtained through diet or supplements. Now, they are found abundantly in fish oil, flaxseed oil, and are renowned for their ability to promote vasodilation, which is the widening of blood vessels. Now, this is because omega-3s can produce a compound called nitric oxide, which is a molecule that relaxes the blood vessel walls and improves blood flow. Moreover, omega-3s have potent anti-inflammatory properties that can help reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases by improving what we call endothelial function and promoting healthy blood vessel walls. Now, endothelial function refers to the ability of the blood vessels to dilate and to constrict in response to changes in blood flow. In other words, it, the, it's the ability of the blood vessels to be elastic for want of a better word. Now, by improving endothelial function, omega-3s can enhance blood flow and reduce the risk of atherosclerosis, which is a condition in which the arteries become narrow due to the buildup of plaque inside them. Now, as a bonus, omega-3s may help lower triglyceride levels and blood pressure, further contributing to better circulation. Now, we all know that high triglyceride levels and high blood pressure are both risk factors for cardiovascular disease, and therefore, by reducing these risk factors, omega-3s can help promote heart health. My next supplement is L-arginine. Now, L-arginine is an amino acid that is considered semi-essential, meaning that while the body can produce it naturally, it is sometimes necessary to obtain it from dietary sources. One of the most significant roles that L-arginine plays in the body is the production of nitric oxide, which I already mentioned is a powerful vasodilator that helps to regulate blood flow and pressure. Now, by relaxing and widening blood vessels, nitric oxide can increase blood flow throughout the body, improving circulation and reducing the risk of various cardiovascular conditions such as hypertension, uh, coronary artery disease, and even peripheral artery disease. Now, the ability of L-arginine to increase nitric oxide production, uh, improve blood flow to the affected areas, and in the process, helping people with peripheral artery disease is very well documented in numerous studies, which I'm going to link some of them in the description if you want to read a little bit further. My next supplement is CoQ10 or sometimes called coenzyme Q10, uh, which is a naturally occurring antioxidant that plays a vital role in the production of energy in the cells. Now, there is research to show that CoQ10 can protect blood vessels against oxidative stress and inflammation. These factors can cause endothelial dysfunction and hinder blood flow. Now, remember, I mentioned uh, endothelial function as being uh, the ability of blood vessels to dilate and constrict in response to uh, changes in blood flow. Now, CoQ10 does this by neutralizing free radicals, which are harmful for molecules, thereby reducing oxidative damage in the cells lining the blood vessels. This is significant because it helps to keep the blood vessels healthy and flexible for easy blood flow. Now, in addition to its antioxidant properties, CoQ10 has also been associated with improvements in blood pressure and overall heart health, which can indirectly support better blood flow. My next supplement is garlic. Now, one of the main reasons for garlic's popularity it's its ability to enhance blood circulation. Its active compounds, including allicin and dialyl disulfide, have been shown to be effective in dilating blood vessels, reducing arterial pressure, and inhibiting the formation of blood clots. Now, these actions contribute to better blood flow and a healthier cardiovascular system overall. 
Now also add garlic to the list of supplements that have the ability to enhance endothelial function and make the blood vessels more flexible. And as if that is not enough, garlic extract has been found to have cholesterol lowering properties which can further contribute to improved circulation. Next on my list is beetroot. Now beetroot extract is a natural supplement that contains high levels of dietary nitrates. The body can convert these nitrates into nitric oxide which leads to relaxation and widening of the blood vessels, which in turn promotes better blood flow through the body. Now, this effect has been extensively studied in various populations, including people with hypertension and athletes. Now, the findings have consistently been positive, with many studies showing that beetroot extract supplementation can improve exercise performance, reduce blood pressure, uh, increase blood flow to the vital organs, and improve overall cardiovascular health. Now my next supplement is capsaicin. Now capsaicin is a bioactive substance that occurs naturally in chili peppers and is responsible for their hot and spicy sensation. If you like spicy food, this is for you. Now there are studies to support that this compound may have positive effects on the cardiovascular system, specifically by promoting vasodilation and enhancing blood flow throughout the body. The vasodilating effects of capsaicin are believed to be induced by the release of yet again a nitric oxide and other vasodilatory substances in response to its presence. Now, these molecules aid in relaxation of smooth muscle cells that line the blood vessels, leading to their expansion, once again, increased blood flow to the various organs and tissues. Now, apart from vasodilation, capsaicin has also been found to possess anti-inflammatory properties that could further contribute to its um, cardiovascular benefits. Now, by decreasing inflammation within the blood vessels, capsaicin may assist in maintaining their health and function, thus diminishing the risk of various cardiovascular diseases over time. Next on my list is niacin. Now, niacin, also known as vitamin B3, is a, a water-soluble vitamin that plays a role in metabolism and DNA repair. Niacin can also improve blood flow and circulation by dilating the blood vessels and, you guessed it, increasing nitric oxide production. Niacin may also prevent the formation of blood clots and plaque, which can obstruct blood flow and cause atherosclerosis. Niacin can be obtained from uh, various food sources such as meat, uh, poultry, fish, nuts and grains, or from supplements. However, high doses of niacin can cause flushing which ironically is an indication of increased blood flow. Now that is why the face and the cheeks get red when you are you you, you experience flushing. It's just indicative of the fact that there is an there is increased blood flow to the area. Next supplement, ginger. Now, ginger is a spice that has been used for centuries for its medicinal and culinary properties. Ginger contains several bioactive compounds such as uh, ginger oils, sugars, and zingerone that have anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and antiplatelet effects. Now, antiplatelet activity means that it has the ability to prevent the platelets from clumping together and forming clots, thereby impeding blood flow to essential areas. Ginger can improve blood flow and circulation by reducing inflammation, uh, oxidative stress, and blood viscosity, which can impair blood flow and damage blood vessels. Ginger can also stimulate the release of nitric oxide and uh, another compound called prostacycline, which is also a vasodilator that helps in widening of the blood vessels and improving blood flow. Now, ginger is generally safe, but it may interact with some medications such as some blood thinness and cause bleeding. So it's always advisable to talk to your doctor if you intend to take ginger supplements, especially if you are on a blood thinner. My next supplement is a popular one, magnesium. Now, magnesium is a mineral essential for many, many biochemical reactions in the body, such as uh, nerve and muscle uh, function, uh, protein synthesis, uh, and even blood pressure regulation. Now, it can improve blood flow and circulation by relaxing the blood vessels and lowering blood pressure, which can reduce the workload of the heart 
and reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Magnesium can also prevent the accumulation of calcium in the arterial walls, which can cause hardening and narrowing of the arteries and impair blood flow. Uh, magnesium can be obtained from uh, a lot of food sources, uh, green leafy vegetables, from nuts, from seeds, legumes, or you can take the supplement. I have whole videos talking about uh, the preferred supplements for which condition you're trying to take care of and other food sources of magnesium. I'm gonna link them in the description. You can check it out when you're done watching this one. I just wanted to mention though that excessive intake of magnesium can cause diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting uh, for some people. So it's advisable to stay within the dosing guidelines or talk to your doctor if you experience any of these issues. Next supplement, curcumin. Now curcumin is a yellow pigment derived from turmeric, which is a spice widely used in Asian cuisine and traditional medicine. Now curcumin has anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and antiplatelet effects. Curcumin is a natural substance that can help improve blood flow and circulation. It works by reducing swelling, stress on the body from oxidation, and the chances of blood clots, which are all things that can hurt our blood vessels and can lead to heart problems. And not to be left out, curcumin can also help to increase the production of nitric oxide. Curcumin can be used in the powder form to prepare food, or you may prefer to swallow the capsules in the form of supplements. However, our bodies don't easily absorb curcumin, which means that we don't get all the benefits just by taking it by itself. So to fix this, you can always take a cumin with black pepper, which has a substance called pepperin. Now, pepperin can boost the absorption of curcumin by as much as up to 2,000%. So uh, you would normally see supplements, and that's why you see supplements of curcumin in combination with black pepper. Now, curcumin is usually safe to use, but it is important to know that it can interact with some uh, medicines, especially blood thinness, just like ginger, uh, which can lead to uh, bleeding problems. So just you know, keep that at the back of your mind, and uh, like I always say, discuss with your doctor if you, you're taking a blood thinner and you intend on taking any of these supplements. As always, thank you for staying through. On your screen now is another video that I did that I think you'd be interested in. Thank you, stay blessed, and catch you on the next video.